Hi everyone, it's Bruns here and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be talking about all the unlisted changes on the new patch for the Evil Dead game. So Evil Dead the game update on the 8th of September dropped with a huge amount of content. There are two new survivors, there's a new demon and there are a lot of changes that are listed on the patches and including fixes. However, there's a lot of unlisted changes, like a lot, that the devs did not put on the patch notes and people are just finding out now. I did come across this post on Reddit where this guy asked Alex has posted all the changes that he's found so far and basically there are some really interesting nerfs to some survivors and buff to the demons really. The first thing that we see here on the skills of the survivors is that seeing stars has a decreased balance bar damage to 5, 10 and 15 percent which used to be 10, 15, 25 percent and also blunt force trauma decreased balance bar damage from blunt weapons to 5 to 10 percent when before it used to be 15 to 30 percent. So here you can already start seeing that there is a nerf to balance bar damage in general. If you couple that with the new demon which has a proper counter to balance bar damage which is the cauldron you can see in which direction the devs are going with this patch. There are also some nerfs to three survivors that we know so far. So first is Henry the Red his invulnerability ability. The cooldown of it has increased to 75 seconds from 60 seconds. I know a lot of people say Henry was OP because of that, that he kept raising people back. So that's a slight nerf to Henry. There's also a nerf to Annie, her haymaker passive ability. The balance bar damage decreased to 15% when before used to be 25%. Here again balance bar damage nerf and then another nerf to Ed where his it's a trap ability cooldown increased to 110 seconds from 90 seconds. So these are the survivor nerfs that this guy on reddit has found out so far and then on the same post we have the buffs that the demons have received. So the Necromancer Skeletal Injury passive ability has had a rework and now it increases damage dealt to survivors by 5% for each skeleton nearby them up to a maximum of 5 skeletons. So that increases the damage up to 25% when before used to be a flat 15% increase. But he had a nerf to his relentless evil skill with a cooldown reduction decrease to 2, 5 and 10% when before used to be 5, 10 and 20%. And here we can see a huge buff to the Warlord. But his really bad influence passive ability has increased damage to 45% when before it used to be 30% and the max health of units to 115% when before it was 30%. So that's a huge buff to the Warlord. Once you get really bad influence too, he has received a little nerf there where the attack frequency of the units is going down to 5% when before it was 10% and then really bad influence 3 the decreased attack frequency to 5% when before it was 10%. However, I think this is to reflect the new aggressiveness of the AI and you can see when you play in the game that the AI it will even down survivors and they will use their special abilities more often so I think this is just to counterbalance the aggressiveness of the AI and then going down to the puppeteer so his power possession ability now increases the max health of the unit possessed to 80% when before used to be 40% and he also has a decreased cooldown of 60 seconds when before used to be 90 seconds that's a big buff to the puppeteer and then this I have noticed myself when I was scrolling through the skill tree of the puppeteer that the damage of the basic elite and boss units is has increased to 10 15 and 20 percent when before used to be 2 5 and 10 percent and again another huge buff that's basically double what it used to be before and both elite and basic units of the puppeteer have received increased balance bar health and only the elite has received increased max health and then when i kept scrolling down this reddit post i found another post from someone else saying that harry and Evil Ash can now vote and also changes to the balance bar to the basic units of the Warlord where before used to be 325 and now is 400. The base puke damage used to be 85 and now is 90 so that's a buff to the puke and also the base puke duration used to be 3 seconds and now is 2 seconds. Big buffs to the Warlord here. Puppeteer basic balance bar used to be 270 and now is 350. The base of destruct damage used to be 150 and now 125 so that's a little nerve that the puppeteer basic has received. Necromancer basic again increased balance bar health used to be 350 and now it's 400 and then Eligos base health used to be 2500 and now it's 3000. The grab damage has been nerfed from 100 to 80 and the base heavy attack damage used to be 200 and now is 100. I did think that the base heavy attack damage was quite powerful sometimes so that's been nerfed and then Evil Ash the base max health used to be 4000 and now it's 4500 and the base health regeneration grab used to be 100 and now it's 150 so buffs 
overall to the Evil Lash here. And Henrietta base max health used to be 4,500 and now it's 5,000. And the base grab damage used to be 65 and now it's been nerfed to 50. So as a whole, you can see that there are huge nerfs to balance bar damage. There are nerfs to the survivors and then there are buffs to all of the demons. Not only the new demon is really strong and she plays completely different than the other demons with her ranged attacks, but also the old demons, they're all stronger now and they all have better balance bar health and some reworks on their skills. So anyway, this is going to be just a short video, guys. Let me know what you think of all these changes and if you found any more. I will drop down the description the link for this Reddit post so you guys can see for yourselves. And if you do enjoy this video, please drop me a like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.